Hi, it's me, Kylie. I love playing outside with you. Here's some of my favorite memories of you and I playing outside. And bonus, throughout each one of these videos, be on the lookout for Cartoon Kylie, Cartoon Dex, and don't forget Cartoon Hash Brown. See if you can find them all. You ready to play? Okay, pass me the ball. Nice. Welcome to Kylie Town. Would you like a tour? <laughs> Come on. Do, do, do. Oh, the store. Were you needing anything today? Let's park. Now, what did you say you needed? Oh, some bread? Sure. Let me just cut you off a piece. Great. That will be $1. Oh, basketball. Kylie puts it up. It's good! <laughs> I love playing sports, but sometimes I like to calm down with a good book, you know? <gasps> Let's go to the library. Check this out. my favorite part. What's this in my pocket? Some mail to mail. Let's head to the post office. Oh, I should just put it in the mailbox. Thanks for mailing your letter. I'll get it right where it needs to go. We're here. Set it up. Three, two, one! Ugh. Three, two, one! Woo! Ow, ow! Oh, I hurt my ankle! Oh no! Oh, we better go to the hospital. Come on! Oh, oh. Yes, what seems to be the problem? My ankle! It turns out all I need is a Band-Aid. Good as new. <sighs> Such a nice day. Let's go relax at the park. <sighs> I love just sitting here by the water. You feel like catching a little fish with me? All right. Whew, such a nice sunny day, but I'm getting really warm. If only there was a place in Kylie Town to buy a nice, refreshing treat. Oh, <laughs> there is. What kind of ice cream would you like today? Do you want a cone? And would you like some chocolate for the top? You need one more scoop, I can tell. Mm. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Here you go. Sure was nice having you in Kylie Town today. I really liked making it with you. And you know what? I feel like this art project was just as big as I was feeling earlier. I love it. And I think Dax is going to love it too. Can't wait for him to get here. <laughs> Do you love it? You can ride your bike on the roads. Whoa. What do you want? Please, I would like a cone. What kind of cone? Mm, chocolate. Okay. Here's a chocolate cone. Okay. Here's an ice cream. <gasps> Yum, it's perfect. Delicious. Do you have any books about astronauts? Yeah. <gasps> Please, um, do you have any coffee? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it 
looks so good. Oh, hot, hot. What do you want now? I want, mm, do you have any fruit or vegetables? No. Oh. If you want to see me make this city, just search Kylie Makes a City. Got my fish, got some water. Let's fill it up. Are you ready to put our fish in the tank? Me too. Who should we start with? Um, maybe Spoonfish. All right, Spoonfish, swim! Spoonfish? Spoonfish sunk. Huh. Okay, who's next? Uh, how about Ping Pong Fish? All right, Ping Pong Fish. Swim! Oh. Ping pong fish floats. Some things are going to sink and some things are going to float. The spoon is heavier than the water, so it sinks. But the ping pong is lighter than the water, so it stays on top. It floats. Let's see what else our fish do. Do you think carfish is going to sink or float? Sink is my guess. Dive. Oh, a float! Or a sink. It looks like his little fins are swimming. That's mostly a float. Okay, how about Chalkfish, sink or float? Let's see. Bloop. Floater. Let's see if my friend's old toy fish sink or float. Ready? One, two, three! Sink! For fish, they are not very good swimmers. <laughs> uh, milkfish? Rawr, rawr, rawr. One, two, three. Oh, a float. Hairbrush fish, sink or float? What's your guess? Let's check it out. Let's go backwards this time. Three, two, one. <gasps> Another float. Now we've got my favorite, potato fish. Do you think potato fish will sink or float? Hmm, I think it might sink. Let's check it out. Yep, potato fish sinks. And last but not least, little, little, little chicken fish. <laughs> I'm coming guys! Whee! If you wanna see me make these fish, just search Kylie Makes Sink or Float Fish. Chicken fish did a beautiful dive down, down, down to the bottom. Chicken fish is a sink. This was so fun. Did you guess most of them right? I think I guessed most of them would sink and they floated. I have all of the letters in my backpack. Should we start with the letter A? I think so, yeah. Oh, and a snack. Not only is this delicious, this starts with the letter A. Do you hear it? Ah, 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 apple. Ah, 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 A. Oh, 
Do you know what sound B makes? B, B. Look over here. Basket, ball. That's a double B, baby. B, B, B. Basketball. Our next letter is C. Do you know what sound C makes? C, C, anything that starts with the letter C. The sound k, k, k. Because I do. Car, k, car. Oh, I have an idea. Hold on. You go down there. Car <laughs> starts with Let's see, we got A, A, B, B, C, K. Next is D. Huh. D makes a D sound. D, D. I know. Come here. Do you know what this is? It's a disc golf basket. D, D, disc. Do you hear it? Here's a disc. Watch this. Disc. And now for the putt. D for disc, D for disc. Hoi! Next up is the letter E. E can say its own name like this, E, or it can make the sound E. Eh. Let's try to find an E sound. I have an idea. Come to my mailbox. Wait for it. Yep. Envelope. Eh, eh. Do you hear it? Eh. Envelope. E. Hmm. F. F makes this sound. So we need to find something that starts with that sound. I see something. A fire hydrant. F -f fire fire hydrant. Perfect. F for fire hydrant. Next is the letter G. G makes a sound. G g. Can you say it? G g. How about g eight? Gate. Gate. Perfect. Gate. I see hash brown is the sound that goes with the letter H, which is our next letter. Hi, hash brown. Ugh. We're playing the alphabet game. Here, I need to put this on you. Oh, man. No one else was this complicated. Okay. H. H for hash brown. Oh, he's escaping. He was in a hurry. You have to go home. I'm keeping this. The next letter is I. I can say I, or it can say eh, 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 like. Insect. Do you hear it? Hmm. If only there were some insects around. There are. I is for insect. Next up, the letter J. J. That's a fun one to say. J. J. And guess what I see right over here? A J jar. <laughs> Normally, I put flowers in here, but today, is for J. J, J, Jar. K, we already talked about this one, didn't we? K, Kylie. All right, L, la, 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 la. Oh, yeah, there's L's everywhere. Leaf, L, la, leaf. What 
you find over there? Oh, a marble? Marble. Marble. Ma, ma, marble. That starts with this sound. Mm, mm, M. Marble. Do you hear it? Marble. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Oh man, this net is difficult. Net? Are you kidding me? Our next letter is N, and N makes this sound. N. Net. <laughs> Perfect. It's like someone planned that. Net. Net. Our next letter is O. So we need to find something that starts with the sound O. I wish I could find something orange. Do you hear it? Orange. There's even some orange on the letter. Do you see anything orange around here? Oh, look at that tree. Oh my goodness, that is such a beautiful orange color. Hmm. Ready? Orange! P. Puh, puh. Pumpkin. P. Pumpkin. Q. Qua. Qua. What starts with Q? Good question. Q. R. 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 I know. Rail. Do you hear it? R. R. Rail. S is next. I know exactly what starts with us. Soccer. Oh, whoops. Soccer. T. T makes the t sound. T -t. That reminds me of another sport, tennis. Have you ever played tennis? Have you ever played tennis with a tennis ball this big? It's terrific. <laughs> Looks fun to play with. I wish I had a big racket. I would just hit it. Do you know what that tennis ball just landed in? A trampoline. Let's jump. You want to see a trampoline trick? All right, I'll do my best. Jump, jump. Whoa, the crowd goes wild. You might be asking, Kylie, why are you up, 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 up there? Well, because U is the letter that makes the uh sound like up and upside down. V, 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 v. Vine, vine. I saw this W earlier. W, w, wagon, wagon. This one's got me stumped. X. You can hear the sound it makes right in its name. X. Like uh, Dax. That's my favorite one, except the X isn't at the beginning of the word, it's at the very end. Do you hear it? Dax. Dax. 
The only words I can think of that start with the letter X are like X-ray, which I don't have any out here, or uh, xylophone, but that doesn't even sound like an X, so... Hmm. I have an idea. What about if we find the D, the A, and now the X, and go put it up in Dax's room as a little surprise? Want to? All right. Where do we put that D again? If you want to know how to make these letters, just search Kylie Makes the Alphabet. D. A. X. D. X. Dax. He's going to love it. Hmm. W. X. Y. Yeah. Yard! Yard! Whew. All right, let's see what's left. There's only one left. Z. Z, Z, Z. <laughs> Sounds like a B, doesn't it? Z, Z, Z. Hmm. Oh, I know. Zigzag. That's two Zs. And guess what there is on this rug right here? Zigzags. Zigzag. Got our bug catcher, got my net. I lost the trail of our studio bug, but I bet we can find some other amazing bugs out here, don't you think? Let's go bug hunting. This big tree fell down in a storm that we had. I wonder if there's any bugs hanging around these branches. Bugs. You see anything? He's in the net, he's in the net. Okay, time to put him in here. I think you're really gonna like the house we made for you. You see him in there? Let's go find some more. <laughs> Do you have a favorite kind of bug? A ladybug? A buzz bee? Oh, how about a little ant? A grasshopper. Oh, you know what other kind of bug I love? Caterpillars. How about you? I think mine would be a butterfly or a lightning bug. I love those when they light up at night. My favorite. I really want to see a butterfly. Butterflies really like flowers. Maybe we should go somewhere where there's flowers, right? Oh! Okay. You're nice and safe, don't worry. There you go. Look at this bee. It's getting pollen, and it's going from one flower to the next. That helps the bee have food to eat, but it also helps the flowers. It pollinates them, which helps other flowers grow. Isn't that amazing? Look at that spider. He can't wait to get inside. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> you can come in, spider. Here you go. <laughs> We've seen a lot of bugs that like the sunshine and flowers and grass. Now we're gonna look for some bugs that like the cool darkness of underneath things. Let's flip over this stump and see if we can find any. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Amazing. Who knew there were so many bugs living in this one little under the stump world? Here's a grub. We found so many amazing bugs under there. I better put the stump back so that they stay nice and safe. Bye, thanks for showing us you. Still really want to catch a butterfly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh! Look at him. Oh! 
Welcome to the family. Ouch. Whoa. We're okay. What an amazing world of bugs we've discovered. I'm gonna keep these guys just outside for a little while. And once I'm done looking at them, I'll let them go again. I'm really bummed that we didn't see a butterfly today, but what if before you go, we make a butterfly together? Do you want to? Okay, we'll do a quick butterfly craft. If you wanna know how to make this bug catcher, just search Kylie Makes a Bug Catcher. Here we go. Squish, 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 squish. And now it's time to see our butterfly. <gasps> I love it. I finally caught one. I love being outside. I love everything about it. I love the wind and the trees. I love the sun. I love this stump. I love the grass. I love this bug. Come over here. Look at this awesome bug. It has black triangles on its back and it looks like it's checking out this really cool rock. Look at that rock. It has stripes on it. This is amazing. It has stripes on the front and the back. Look at this one. This one has holes in it. Hey, I have an idea. Do you wanna go on a rock hunt with me? Let's go. Come here, I see a really cool plant. Whoa, it's like little berries that are turning colors. But do you see any rock? Whoa, 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 yeah, look. This rock is incredible. It's light, kind of a light gray, and it's a cool shape. It's um, a triangle. Do you see anything else under here? Look at this one. Whoa, this one's kind of a triangle too. It's a big triangle here and a little triangle here. These are so cool. Let's keep going. Wow, look at these flowers. They are my favorite color. Can you guess what my favorite color is? Yellow. Look at all the bugs. The bugs must like yellow too. Okay, okay, we're not on a flower hunt. We're not on a bug hunt. We're on a rock hunt. What did you find? I like this one. It looks like a pyramid. Oh, and it was sitting on top of this one. It looks really dirty, but look at this part that's just kind of clean and smooth. Cool. This looks like a shark tooth. Look at these huge ones. This rock is big and heavy and bumpy. And look, it has a friend. Rocks. Rock. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I found lots of rocks. I found one that looks like a slice of pizza. Probably not very delicious. Look at this huge rock. It's very heavy and very hairy. Do you think you would like to have green hair? I feel like I just need one more rock, you know? The perfect last rock. Maybe a nice smooth oval. It's perfect. You are a great rock. Into the backpack with you. Ah. All right, rock collection. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Rock collections are heavy. Wow, guys, come look at all these amazing rocks we found together. Which one is your favorite? Hmm. I think, I think my favorite is this one. It's so cool. It's so cool that this beautiful little thing was just hiding right in my backyard. You guys, I have an idea. What if the thing that we made together today used these amazing rocks that we found and then we made them even more amazing and hid them around my neighborhood so that other people could find some beautiful, surprising little pieces of art. Do you want to? Me too. So let's see, what do we need to do first? Mm, I know, these rocks are kind of dirty. Let's give them a bath. This is going to be the perfect rock bathtub. I'm so excited. I have my towels. I have a big, nice bowl to put my rocks in once they're clean. I got my rocks. I'm ready for rock bath time. I'm missing something. Oh, the bubbles. I have them right here. Still doesn't seem right. Can you think of anything else I need? <laughs> of course, the water. Come on. Get ready, Mr. Rock. We got one rock in, we got some bubbles. Now we just need to put the rest of our rocks in. That made a big splash, did you see it? Woo! <laughs> Sorry, friend! <laughs> I see all my rocks in there under the bubbles. They're getting nice and clean. I love playing in water. I love bath time and I love swimming pools outside. Do you like bath time? I think the rocks really like it. I'm gonna use a washcloth to get the dirt off of them really well. First shiny, clean rock. Whoa. When I wash the dirt off of this one, it got dark orange and this beautiful brown. This one kind of looks like a potato. No. 
Wow. Ooh. This one has some slime on it. Come on, little rock. Get clean. You need to soak. Are you all out of the bathtub? Oh, I found some hiding. Got it. Hi friends, we're here at my favorite park with a backpack full of rock art to hide. Come on. This looks like a great spot. Now, someone who's walking along this path will find a soccer ball rock. Does this look like a good spot for a rock? Let's find a good one. Oh, I know. Little caterpillar. I think these rock stairs are the perfect place for a surprise rock. I know just the one. Pizza time. Hmm. Hey, look down here. I found a little creek. I think this is the perfect place for our planet. Come on, hop over. Let's keep going. Do you think I can reach way up there to put a rock? Hmm. Maybe this watermelon one. Oh! If you want to watch me paint these rocks, just search Kylie Makes Rock Art. All of our art rocks are hidden. I love imagining who might find them and what they might think when they find an unexpected art surprise on their nature walk. I hope it helps them have such a good day.